a couple spots that were a little tricky. It's going well. Um, I'm learning, actually learning just stage presence. I've never done this before. I've never acted before, been on the stage. Two, three, four, rock, step. It's nice for me to do this sort of thing because it's a good chance to compete against other people for once because as an actor, you don't really get a chance to compete. And I'm like, oh, finally, I get to see if I'm good at any of this stuff. Spinner this way. Many of the dancers have mentioned this is way out of their comfort zone, but for Alex, this is similar to what many of his weekends and weeknights look like with the theater. Alex radiates confidence. He believes he can do anything and he can. So, and that that's a great asset. And lots of showmanship. Right. You, you can tell right away he's comfortable mm -hmm. in what he's doing. And Renee is very athletic. That makes it easier for her to learn things, to do things, or if we give her an assignment, she works on it and then perfects it before she comes back the next time. So cute. Alex and Renee brought in the song to Rhonda and Kirby that they wanted to dance to. They picked the song that was pretty fast, so in the beginning that was a little challenging right. to get them up to speed, but it wasn't taking, it, it didn't, didn't take too long. No, they were it right wasn't, up as, there. wasn't as hard as what I thought it would be. I was yeah. kind of concerned about it because it is a fast song. For me, challenging-wise, it's going to be one in about a week when they're going to tell me to stop mouthing the counts. I think the timing of everything for us and kind of practicing without the music first and just getting the moves down. Alex and Renee clicked on a number of points pretty quickly, but the biggest being their desire to help prevent suicide. We talk about the physical health of our community, but we don't, we're afraid to talk about the mental health of our community. And as long as we can erase that stigma, be open and honest about it. I'm very open in that I'm, I'm a suicide loss survivor. I lost my only sibling in 2014. And my platform is if I don't talk about it, then I'm just adding to the stigma. For the last 20 years of my life, I've had clinical depression, which is sometimes very hard for people to talk about. And it, it gets very emotional for me to talk about because there's kind of that stigma attached to talking about depression, and it's the, especially as a guy, it's, they tell you to toughen up. As the March event day comes closer, these dancers say, with the help of their coaches, they will be ready. Once we get within two weeks, it's that theater crunch time, and I'm gonna be like, okay, a few more times, and let's do it again, let's do it again. And then that's when she punches me and says, well, that's enough, I'm done, and she <laughs> walks out the building. <laughs> nice goal, nice Yeah, nice that's a nice goal. goal. Yeah. <laughs> Brian Ganuzzi, NTV News, Kearney.